No, Putin won't stop at Ukraine. But make no mistake, Ukraine can and will stop Putin. made to enlargement unified Europe in a way that was previously unthinkable, paved the way for EU integration, and brought peace and prosperity across the continent. Allies showed the clarity and determination then, as we must continue to do now. Russia's war against Ukraine is the biggest security crisis in generations. Ukraine has shown remarkable courage, and NATO allies have provided unprecedented support. But let's be honest. Not even our support for Ukraine has been a given. It is not straightforward because our support comes with costs and risks. The reality is there are no cost-free options with an aggressive Russia as a neighbor. There are no risk-free options in a war. And remember, the biggest cost and the greatest risk will be if Russia wins in Ukraine. We cannot let that happen. Not only would it embolden President Putin, it will also embolden other authoritarian leaders in Iran, in North Korea, and China. They all support Russia's brutal war. They all want NATO to fail. So the outcome of this war will shape global security for decades to come. The time to stand for freedom and democracy is now. The place is Ukraine. Together, we've built a global coalition to stand with Ukraine. Together, we've provided significant economic and humanitarian assistance. And together, we've supplied Ukraine with weapons it needs to defend itself. Tanks, armored fighting vehicles, air defense systems, long-range missiles, and millions of munitions. The United States, nearly two dozen allied partners, have signed a bilateral security agreement with Ukraine. And more countries will follow. Today, 
I'm announcing the historic donation of air defense equipment for Ukraine. The United States, Germany, the Netherlands, Romania, and Italy will provide Ukraine with the equipment for five additional strategic air defense systems. And in the coming months, the United States and our partners intend to provide Ukraine with dozens of additional tactical air defense systems. The United States will make sure that when we export critical air defense interceptors, Ukraine goes to the front of the line. They will get this assistance before anyone else gets it. All told, Ukraine will receive hundreds of additional interceptors over the next year, helping protect Ukrainian cities against Russian missiles and Ukrainian troops facing air attacks on their front lines. Make no mistake, Russia is failing in this war. This remarkable progress, proof that our commitment is broad and deep, that we're ready, that we're willing, we're able to deter aggression and defend every inch of NATO territory across every domain, land, air, sea, cyber, and space. My friends, it's good that we're stronger than ever because this moment in history calls for our collective strength. Autocrats want to overturn global order, which is by and large kept for nearly 80 years and counting. Terrorist groups continue to plot evil schemes to cause mayhem and chaos and suffering. In Europe, Putin's war of aggression against Ukraine continues, and Putin wants nothing less nothing less than Ukraine's total subjugation, to end Ukraine's democracy, to destroy Ukraine's, Ukraine, Ukraine's culture, and to wipe Ukraine off the map. And we know Putin won't stop at Ukraine. But make no mistake, Ukraine can and will stop Putin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be, and I want to be, uh, candid and frank, now everyone is waiting for November. Americans are waiting for November in Europe, Middle East, in the Pacific. The whole world is looking to, to autumn, looking to November. And truly speaking, Putin awaits November too, but killing and destroying to get ready, to be ready for everything what November might bring. Even, even the anniversary NATO summit, which should become a top event, does not indeed look strong in the media in contrast to what is expected from November. It seems that people do not even notice that NATO has expanded by two new countries at once. And this is a historic event, but it is in the shadows of another story. It's time to sit out, to step out of the shadows, to make strong decisions work, to act and not to wait for November or any other month to this end. We must be strong and uncompromising all together. And first of all, America. And first of all, the leaders of America and the President of the United States as the leader of the free world to be uncompromising in defending democracy, uncompromising against Putin and his coterie, uncompromising to every possible terror.